Okay, we have another first look. We got release day for 2023-24 Ice Hobby Box. Um, this box cost, before we get into it, about 220 is what I got it for Canadian. Uh, so like time we had tax and everything else is like 250 for this box. Uh, where we are chasing Connor Bedard once again. Uh, trying to find every Connor Bedard auto uh, that we can. Yet to hit one. I've hit some shorter print, or I guess one short print of uh, Bedard in my hunt so far. Uh, but we're going to see what else we can find in this. Ice is another one of those products. If you guys are watching my preview videos and a couple other stuff, tears for a lot of this stuff. So, Bedard isn't as likely as some other players in this. Uh, just keep that in mind. Um, it'd be nice if he was, but that's also just kind of part of it. So it is harder to hit a Bedard in Ice Premieres because they do levels, essentially, for this. Um, same way they did uh, XPX, same way they do uh, Credentials, same way they do a lot of that stuff where the base for him uh, starts lower rather than, you know, the, the lesser known guys, maybe, you know, six rounders, 25 year old, old guns, all that other stuff. But uh, we'll turn the camera around, give a look at the box. Six cards per pack, 12 packs per box. Uh, looking for hard signed rookie autos. Exquisite is one of the big stuff in this. So you're looking for exquisite uh, rookie patch autos. Also looking for the ice out of 10 rookie patch autos, the ice premieres. Um, those are a huge chase. It used to be a really big chase. Uh, they've fallen off over the last couple of years, which kind of makes you think of, you know, what products, you know, had a lot of hype before that maybe have lost a little bit of it. I like said ice right now is definitely one of those products um, where it doesn't have as much oomph as it may have had in years past. Um, I think adding parallels to stuff always hurts, right? Um, just some of the value from what ice used to be and, and what you used to get for value out of ice um, is a whole lot different. So, exquisite too. It's cool, but it's not what they, you know, maybe, maybe leave that for the higher end products. I know it's a chase, but I find there's just like exquisite in like a bunch of different sets. And so it's like, it almost lessens the coolness or the chase for, um, exquisite cards when you have them in like multiple products i don't know just a little odd to me so uh so here we go once again six cards per pack 12 packs per box 250 up uh, you know box tax in for me uh, on the east coast of canada 220 before so is it the craziest price box of all time no does it have huge upside compared to some other stuff yes uh, a lot of these are going to have you're going to see thicker packs a lot of them are going to have fillers. So I'm adding to my filler collection once again, uh, rebounding on that. So Cole Caulfield in the base. Kind of look at that real quick. It's a lot of horizontal this year. A uh, lot of difference. Also, I have a new camera stand. Uh, so I have to learn to work around it. It's a different different setup over here. Uh, Timo Meyer, Matt Boldy, my guy. <laughs> we got... Patrick Line in the depth of winter. Reminds me of the uh, two picks. Billy Sweezy in a rookie. There's a first look at the rookie. They just got a little rookie patch thing there. It says rookie on the back and the top. Yeah, Patrick Line now over on the Montreal Canadiens. Depth of winter. Reminds me of like. Um, it's easy to understand, but they remind me of the like the guitar pick ones in metal. Uh, and our green is Roman Yossi. So greens aren't numbered. Uh, you're going to get a ton of green. I think purple's another one you get a ton of. Um, there's a lot of color in this. I find you're just losing some of the oomph behind it. Um, also not a big fan of, and we'll probably get one, um, the ice in in the ice card so essentially you have a little mini card inside if we get one of them we'll open it up and you guys can see what i'm talking about but tage thompson jake sanderson adrian kempe we got luke hughes and one of those things so we had depths of winter 
Luke Hughes. So we got a good name. Luke Hughes is definitely one of those names that you're looking for. And going to Copenhagen with, there you go, Connor McDavid. So worst guys to hit. So Connor McDavid in the green. You sell that today. Um, might get a couple bucks for it. McDavid stuff always sells really good on release. And then like everything else, it just kind of dries up. Um, probably a couple days after it gets released. So I'll get that up. ASAP on the eBay. Uh, link down below if anybody ever wants to check out the eBay. Have lots of stuff on there. Update it kind of pretty regularly. Uh, especially now that we're getting into like the winter and stuff. Um, I just uploaded a ton of stuff on there. Uh, Dylan Larkin. Rest in peace. Johnny Hockey. We'll throw him up there. Uh, Taylor Radish. Oh, there we go. Uh, snuck up me. Ice premieres at a 299. It's our first look at it this year. And this is the parallel. So this is a green. So this would probably be, he'd probably be like a 999 typically. Um, this is a green parallel at a 299. Like I said, just it's fine, uh, but just definitely not a big hit. Uh, first saw the oats thing, I was like. Did I just hit the Logan Cooley? No, not the case. So uh, behind here, there you go. Not a bad name, just a base, but Matthew Nyes in the base. One of the chases here in this set uh, in this year. And another horizontal, Mark Stone. So once again, you're going to get a ton of green in this. Um, there's no, no shortage of it for sure. So it says collect at least two Ice Premier's rookie estates cards per box so we got one of them uh the other 299 so we'll see if we can get anything else in here like i said looking for a good patch when you get the good patch you won't have the brown on the side of the uh of the filler i am sorry uh, brent burns uh jack eichel philip gustison and Purple, that is Jeff Petrie in the purple. I don't think the purple is numbered. Nope, purple's not numbered. It's just basic. I think it's a little shorter print, but not by much. Tyler Clevins and Quinn Hughes in the green. So it's not usually a product I like to pick up. It's just one of those ones that's been actually reasonable. Like I think this and Black Diamond, I think it's not that far apart, uh, especially for the price difference. But we do get a patch card. I'm gonna put that over there. That's nice. That's nice. Got an actual patch card. Now it could be anything. It can just be a base. It doesn't have to be an auto. It doesn't have to be a patch. Um, it can just be a base numbered, thick, exquisite card or whatever it is. Um, but obviously we we're hoping for some kind of auto. Uh, Mitch Marner, Mario Ferraro. We got Simon Evanson on the back. We got Billy Sweezy once again. Welcome to the show, Billy Sweezy. We got a tooth. We got a pick here, but we also got. <laughs> so that's a base. One that I would have wanted, anyways. Uh, Jacob Pelche. Former Moncton Wildcat, uh, Jacob Pelche, 839 out of 999. Uh, just got in some nice Jacob Pelches. They just got in a uh, deluxe young gun and an exclusive young gun um, for him. So that's good on my end. And then Clayton Keller uh, with the depth of winter. So I'm going to. Nobody else cares about that, but. I'm going to sleeve up this Jacob Pelche. Like I said, that goes to the to the PC. So we got our two assets. We could get more um, for sure. But like I said, most of them are tiered. So 999 would be like your higher number one, obviously. Um, oh, that's that's one of the baby cards. Okay, I'm just opening this. <laughs> I just saw it. Um, Nikita Nestorenko. 
The green is Nikita Nesterenko. Okay. Uh, Cole Perfetti, Jonathan Marcheseau, Travis Konechny, and this is the In the Ice, and it is Stamco. So some of these do come numbered. Um, big thing here is they have a little card inside. So you don't have to open them. Some people keep them sealed. Everything else depends on the player. Um, but you can just kind of get in there with whatever else you want. It's got a little pull tab. We're hoping for Connor Bedard is what we're hoping for. That ripped really horribly. Oh my. Come on. You essentially destroy a card. Uh, they do have perforated edges and stuff, but they never really hold up pretty well afterwards. Marco Casper? Oh, not bad. Marco Casper in the mini. Uh, you can get mini card sleeves for these. Everything else. But come on. Come on out. So, regular size card, mini. So, it's a mini me. I shall call him mini me. Um, so, there we go. Marco Casper in the Red Wings in the tiny, teeny, tiny ice premieres. So, typically don't have any value. Right now, a Bedard would. That's why you kind of rip any cards. If you had a Bedard break uh, into the ice or frozen in ice, you might not rip that one because um, the inside of it, chances are, won't have a better card than what it is. Uh, but you never know. Uh, Anders Lee, Cairo, Marco Casper in the purple. We get the filler. We got the Keto Hyros. And the green is going to be not bad. Sidney Crosby. So we got a Sid the Kid. We got a McDavid. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, hoping that in the ice doesn't count towards an auto. I think at one point they did, I think, but I'm pretty sure it's not the case this year. Not that we're guaranteed an auto, but uh, Brady, Igor, Vita Vanchek, Igor, Jonathan Huberto, and this is one of the snow globe ones. Snow mint, oh, there we go. We pulled him. We pulled him, ladies and gentlemen. Connor Bedard Snowman. What a hit. What an absolute... It's not that crazy. Uh, <laughs> I think you get one of these a box. But there we go. Connor Bedard in the Snowman. No numbering or anything on it. As far as my eyes can see. But we did it. We pulled Connor Bedard. Uh, it's actually not bad because I saw somebody rip an entire case this morning uh, and they hit one Bedard in all of it. Uh, now I saw the next case, I think he had like four or five um, in a case. But still, definitely nowhere is near guaranteed. We'll put him in front of there. Got to leave Johnny Hockey up. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny gets to stay up for the rest of this video. So, um, once again... Do not be stupid, people. Do not drink and drive. Give your head a shake. Uh, just not necessary. So, here we go. Nope. No patch. Austin Matthews. We got something here, though. Maybe an auto. Maybe an auto. Jacob Pelche in the base. We got the green. Bo Horvat. And we'll go this way, maybe. That's our auto, I think. Nope, another ice premieres. Uh, well, Terry Morella is it? So, guy that I've hit a couple times. Uh, guy that I don't need to hit anymore. Um, what did I hit him in? It must have been like upper deck. Maybe it was like a clear cut. I hit a clear cut of him, didn't I? I think I hit a clear cut of him. So. Uh, once again, seven ninety nine. I don't think that's that looks like it's a blue parallel or something like that um, by the looks of the background. So I'm assuming that is some kind of parallel because well, Terry Morella definitely wouldn't be a a high tiered player. 
Um, pretty sure, like I said, he'd be a level. Uh, do they say levels on them anymore? They used to back in the day. They don't. That was like one of the big things forever. They had like the levels. So. Here we go. We got three packs left. I'm dragging this on. Not meaning to. But new product. And the horizontal. I'm not going to. I want to hear what you guys think. What do you think about horizontal cards for everything? Um, definitely makes for an interesting opening. Uh, De Noye, Another former Moncton Wildcat. We got. Noah Dobson. And then this way, I think. Nope, this way. So it looks like an Ice Premieres, maybe an Ice Scripts. 96, that's Kuzmenko. That's an update. Uh, 0, 06 0 at a 199 Ice Premieres Auto. And this is an update out of 22 23. Uh, Kuzmenko is one of the better names. That's actually not, it's actually not bad. Uh, obviously he's been traded now and everything else, but, um, you know, so he loses a little bit, but was one of the big chases at one point, uh, for his draft class or his series class, um, was one of the big guys at, at, at the start. Um, we'll put him, hmm, put him back here in front of Barbashev. How about that? There we go. Auto right in the middle. Uh, he's, an, he's an update. Uh, Matty Beneers has some. His Ice Premier's patch uh, was, I saw one of them pulled today out of 10 uh, by Matty Beneers. Uh, I saw that pulled earlier. Um, so there are some updates, different guys. Matty Beneers definitely being one of the bigger ones. Um, yeah, so there are some updates in this like anything else. Josh Norris has one. Kaprizov has one so there's some even some like ones from a few years back now got another kind of cool hit back here Stanislav Spoville we got another green Matthew Nyes that's not bad he like said you get one of these per pack so I'm sure those aren't going to go for crazy money and what is this that's also not bad uh Archer's Silovs what is with this Little mini Canucks, you know, break here. Uh, the guy that popped off during the playoffs. Uh, and I'm hearing, I heard something that, like, it looks like Demko might, like, not be returning right away from his injury from last year. Um, so there's a chance that Silas, like, gets a chance to run with it. I heard that when they were talking about, like, where um, Askarov could go for uh, from, from Nashville before he got traded to... Uh, the Sharks, but they said, well, maybe they send him off to, you know, the Canucks because you don't know what's happening with Demko. There's, you know, rumors that he might not come back, but, yeah, we've got Sub-Zero. Uh, 668 out of 799 rookie Sub-Zero, so I think, and I say this as I think, I can almost guarantee you this is a bet, definitely a better box than most boxes for, for this product. Um, I can almost guarantee you guys that. So, no patch. Um, the only thing we had for a thicker card was that Frozen and Ice. Uh, Miko Ranton and my guy. Chandler Stevenson. Vasilevsky. We got Jason Robertson in the purple. Just got a filler there. I don't know why that one just looked a little different to me. Cole Gutman. So, no Connor Bedard on the base. And last but not least, Stanislaw Slowville. So, a couple guys that we hit um, in the base, also hitting the green. So, uh, overall, though, that's, once again, is the box too much? Yes, all the boxes are too much nowadays. That's just the way it works. Um, I don't think that's, you know, really going to change for any of us. I think we're all kind of understanding it. But, at the same time, like I said... I would take a chance at this over, and I'm not saying, like, I'm, this will probably be the only box I buy at this. So, like, definitely don't, you know, think that I'm saying, like, run out and buy uh, a bunch of this stuff. Um, but, like, and I'm obviously not the biggest fan of some of the other products, but if you're talking this at 220 
or credentials um, at, you know, what's credentials now? 180. It's like 220, 180. You know, for the extra 40 bucks, I'd probably go with this. Um, just where it's a more established product, even though it's a product that's definitely down over the last five to 10 years. Um, like I said, there is the big hit chances at Exquisites. There's the big chances at, um, you know, a lot of other stuff that, you know, things like Allure, Credentials, uh, even SPX. SPX is a not a great product. Uh, SPX is like, you know, once again, full cases where I've seen zero bedards in multiple cases of SPX. Not a base, not not just saying like no autos. I mean like no base, no nothing. Um, this one you're going to get, it's definitely a more fun break because you get a lot more cards. So you get some shiny stuff. You kind of pick away at your, at your value. Um, and that being said, this probably isn't going to be worth anything in, you know, a couple weeks. Um, they're probably only worth a couple bucks as of now. Like that's probably a two or three dollar card. Um, but like I said, you do have the chance at multiple bedards in here. Um, do things like allure and stuff. Do they have more bedards? Yes. Um, but like I said, trying to weed our way through this whole thing. Um, same thing. If, uh, if you're looking at potential, like I said, Connor Bedard autos in this, Connor Bedard patches in this, Connor Bedard exquisite patches in this. Um, you know, lots of big stuff that you could hit. It's probably not very likely. Uh, and if you do, congrats. Like I said, that's awesome for you guys. Uh, if you are able to hit any of them. And there's all other guys, right? Logan Cooley, Leo Carlson, Adam Fantilli. Uh, the list goes on. Matthew Nyes. There's, there's lots of other good guys in this crop. But the jack in the price... <laughs> Um, you're really looking at it because of Connor Bedard. So, um, let's see, do I think I made my money back? Probably not. I'm not sure what those snowmen go for, but I'm assuming you guys would have seen what they originally maybe first started selling off at. Um, I'm re recording this right before Thursday night football, uh, go chargers who play on this weekend. Uh, but you know, the chances of that box making my money back, probably not as much, but at least it's a little bit more of a fun rip. Um, like I said, you get... So I actually did, I, once again, I did very, very well. I got a Bedard. I got a Kuzmenko update, which, once again, he's an upper half of the prospect list. Um, Jacob Pelche, which is a big one for me. A sub-zero of Silovs, who he's a big one. Um, our Marco Casper, even, for the for the little mini. That's actually not even bad, even though those don't, usually don't sell too well. Uh, what else did I hit? Well, Terry Morella... Michael Kesselring, Conrad David Green, a line A thing, Luke Hughes. Almost forgot about that one. Luke Hughes in the depth of winner. So, once again, I think overall I did much better than most uh, would do on one of these boxes for sure. So, once again, take me as not the norm. Uh, take me as the exception for this. Uh, and kind of tread carefully if you're thinking about opening up this product. Um, is it a funner rip than some of the other stuff that's been coming out? Sure, but uh, yeah, well, just once again, keep in mind, you know, big risk, uh, you know, could have big reward, but very slim chances at that big reward. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And for Eric from the bench, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.